Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY ball cozy. This project is so fun and easy. It only uses a little bit of fabric, interfacing and fusible fleece. You take a bowl and it can be filled with soup or oatmeal or anything that's warm and you put it in here and it keeps it warm, keeps it cozy. Um, my kids actually use it for instant oatmeal. They warm it up and then this is a great way for them to keep it warm as they eat it. I love it as a mom because when they're eating their oatmeal, this actually helps like catch spills. It makes them a little self-sufficient because they can use it without me. I use some really fun fabrics. There's just scraps. I did different colors on the other side, but you can use the same color. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make two different versions. This one is an enclosed edge and has pointed corners. This one, where the corners have been rounded and then I finished it with bias binding. It actually makes it almost kind of look like a flower, but they work exactly the same. It's just your preference on how you like to finish it. So let's get started. For this project, you can use um, scraps of fabric that about 10 inches by 10 inches. You can use quilting cotton. Um, so this is going to be the version that um, is the enclosed edge. This is going to be the version that has the bias binding for the edge. So if you want to do that um, version, then you will need enough bias binding to go around the edge. You will also need fusible fleece and fusible interfacing. And I'm going to cut everything out with a cutting mat and a rotary cutter. So you are going to start by cutting a 10 inch by 10 inch piece one from each fabric for the outside and the inside, one from fusible interfacing and one from fusible fleece. Now you're going to take your two pieces and one is going to have the interfacing and one is going to have the fusible fleece. It doesn't really matter which um, one you choose as long as you have one of each inside. Now we're going to draw some lines to mark um, how we're going to sew. So you're going to add quilting lines that go diagonally. So draw a line on every single piece of fabric from corner to corner. Then you're going to go to the other side and we're going to draw two lines on the wrong side but it's going to be um, like from the middle of each side to the middle of each side. Now go along each diagonal line and just sew a straight line and this um, adds a little bit of quilting and it helps keep all of these layers together after it's sewn. Once you have this sewn, we are going to now work on the back. So each of these lines is showing the center and we're going to use it to sew darts. So you're going to fold your fabric on this center 
and pin it in place and you're going to sew a dart that is starts at one inch out here on the edge and comes in and comes down um, two inches and a quarter so I'm actually going to draw that in after I have all of these pinned on the fold Once you have all your darts marked, you're going to sew from the outside out to the point on all of them. And then once you have these two on one piece, you're going to flip it the other way and do two more on the other two centers. Now all of my darts have been sewn and what you're going to do, you're going to take some scissors and you're just going to trim the dart down to about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now you're going to take your iron and you are going to just kind of press this seam open. It's not going to open completely because it's closed down here, but you need it to be open up here for when we sew this seam right here. Now, if you are doing the bowl cozy that has enclosed edges, you are going to take your both of your bowl cozies, one is the lining, one is the outer fabric, you're going to place them right sides together, match up your corners and all of the darts and pin them together. Now you're going to sew around this edge with a quarter inch seam allowance and you're going to need to leave about a three inch hole so you can turn it right side out. Make sure you backstitch when you start and when you stop. Once you have the edge sewn, we are going to trim the edges and this is so you don't have too much bulk in those corners when you turn it right side out. Then stick your hand in and carefully turn it right side out through the hole. Take a point turner and poke out those corners. Now press your edges, um, like roll it so that the, the fabric isn't tucked inside. And we're going to press these edges so they're nice and crisp and flat. To finish this, uh, make sure, like when I ironed, I made sure that these edges were tucked inside 
um, like folded inside. So now we're going to sew an edge stitch that's sewing one eighth of an inch all the way around and make sure that when you go over the hole that you have everything pinched inside and so that will hold that hole closed. Now if you are doing the um, bowl cozy that has bias binding for the edge, you're actually going to place your bowl cozies together, wrong sides together, and match it up just like as it would be if it were finished. So you line that all up put it all in. And I actually have a preference that when I do bias binding around corners, I actually really like to do rounded corners. So I'm just going to come and round each corner slightly. This is not something you have to do if you like to do um, the 90 degree corners with your bias binding. I just find it's a slightly easier to do bias binding on a rounded edge than trying to get a perfect corner. I'm going to take my bias binding and pick a spot to start. And I'm going to clip it on and clip it all the way around the edge. You can steam the bias binding around the corners. That sometimes help the, helps the bias binding kind of fit those curves. And I'm going to go around and sew the bias binding on. I'm going to sew it um, about an eighth of an inch in from this edge so I can catch both sides. I'm not worried about it looking, you know, I'm not going to hand sew it because this isn't like it a really nice quilt. It's just a really simple bow co bowl cozy and I don't mind that the stitching is going to show. Once you have this bias binding sewn on, you can sew all the edges so that they look nice. Once the edges are finished, your bowl cozy is done. And the great thing is that it is reversible. And that's how you make a DIY bowl cozy. Can't wait to see all of the bowl cozies you make. Please check out these playlists with beginner sewing projects and handmade sewn gift ideas. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.